Well, hello, my friends. Eric Bonet, a.k.a. Wolfgore here. And, uh, I wrote a book. I did the thing. I actually did it. I wrote a book. <laughs> I wrote an entire book. It is, uh, 60 chapters currently. It is a, around 140,000 words, which came in below that 200,000 that I was starting to be like, oh my god, like, this thing is so long, so... You know, that I'd call that a step in the right direction. Like, yeah, bigger can be better, but at the same time, first book in the series, smaller, probably a little bit better. So I'm very happy with the 140,000 words. I think that's great. Um, and I love it. I'm very happy with it. Part one. Oh my God. Let me tell you, it was so freaking hard to edit. Like, ah, uh, like, uh, everything, everything had to be fixed. And what I should have done, the easy thing to do, would have been to close that chapter's document, open up a blank document, and rewrite chapter one with my current skill level based on what I already know happened in chapter one. But instead, stubborn fucking artist integrity me is like, no, it must be the way I wrote it originally, but brought up to my current skill level. So I had to go through every single effing sentence for like the thirst first 30 pages, the first 10 chapters, and just drag it painstakingly up to where I currently am. And it was such a slog. It literally took a month. I finished the book a month ago, if I didn't say that already. But yeah, it just, it was just like author deadlifts, just drag one sentence from the mud up to normal level, and then the next one, and the next one. And I, uh, I've been waking up at 4.30 instead of 5, uh, which I had talked about in a previous vlog, but I changed it to 4.30 because I like it so much and it's just better. And I wake up 4.30, seven days a week now. So I write every single morning and I like, as much as I like staying up at night, especially on Friday nights, like tonight is Friday night and I just want to stay up late and drink caffeine and eat ice cream and play Elden Ring. Uh, I'm going to go to bed because I know if I don't, because I've tested it, if I don't, I'm going to regret it in the morning. I'm going to regret it. The sun's already going to be up. It's not going to be the same when I do my writing. And it'll put me into a slight funk. And uh, I'd rather just go to sleep and, and stick to my schedule because it works, you know. And the proof is in the pudding. I have a finished book. Sticking to my schedule has been the key. It is, it is the key. That is the word for it. It is the key. Having a strict schedule has brought me to where I am and I'm and I'm very happy about that. And where is that in terms of getting this old girl published and uh, being able to finally share it with everybody like you and my friends and my family and my loved ones. Well, you guys are my friends, but you know what I mean? My uh my first person friends, if you will. Um well, it is getting there. Editing, like I said, was a real slog at the beginning, but I'm through the worst of it. I am through the, I'm past the swamp and I am now to the damp, muddy ground. You know what I mean? It's like, I can read through a chapter now, I'm enjoying myself and I can be like, oh, you know what? I can make some tweaks in this paragraph and then read through it again and make some more tweaks and read through it again, make some more tweaks, you know? But it's not like I'm having to drag every sentence out of the mud. So things are moving along a lot quicker now and I'm anticipating, based on how long I've been working on the project already, uh, in terms of editing, I'll probably be finished with this pass in about two months. And then the first pass is obviously going to take way longer than any other passes, unless I rewrote the entire damn book, which I wouldn't do. Um, but, and I don't think I'm going to be ready to send it off to an editor or to share right after pass one. I think I want to do one more pass after that where I can read the entire thing quickly without having to stop constantly and fix things and try and get a real sense of where the book's at. And as long as I'm relatively happy with it at that point, I'll probably try sending it to an editor. Assuming it doesn't need any chapters added or subtracted or any more major work. But I'm expecting that it won't at that point, but we'll just see when we get there. Uh, what else? Book two has been started. I have some great updates on book two, which is to say that I have actually started writing it. I am still on the first chapter, but I've got the opener done and like the first page done, which is not a lot, but considering that the first page of the book and the last page of a book are like the hardest parts to write, 
it, I, I think it's fairly significant that we have the opener done, which is good because once I have my free time back and I'm not editing anymore, I can just dive right into book two because I know where it's going, which is the even bigger update. In a previous vlog, I said that I only had like the first third of it figured out, which was true at the time. But since then, I've done some real wor world building while I've been driving in the car to work, as I always do, and just thinking about it. And I was like, oh, that's where it's going. I know where it's going. And finally put those pieces together. So that feels really, really good to have that monkey off my back because it's scary writing books and not necessarily knowing where you're going. You know, it's, it's rather intimidating. Uh, but you just got to keep thinking about it, I guess, and it'll just come to you in time. So other than that, um, here's the thing. When I first started uh, writing, I was listening to these ambient music tracks on YouTube all the time. Like there's this one I really like. If you just type in like ADHD music, it's got like a picture of like a stork or no, a crane or something. And it's like a yellow thumbnail with a crane like standing in a pond. Super great. That's like my favorite one. But I had a bunch of others and I was listening to them when I first started writing. Like always, I would always have one of these going when I was writing and I found that they really helped and I fell out of the habit for some reason. And I kept waking up with freaking songs from Hamilton stuck in my head because I love Hamilton and I listen to it way too often. Um, but it was driving me crazy. It would be like, not throwing away my shot. Shh, I'm writing. Not throwing away my shot. Shh. I'm writing, not throwing away my shot. Shut the fuck up, I'm trying to write. Like, <laughs> um, the, yeah, that's honestly what it was like. It was very, very irritating. And I was like, whatever happened to those background music things that I would put on? So I put that one on, and this was just a couple days ago, and boom, fucking Hamilton's not yapping in my ear anymore. Like, I mean, he is for the rest of the day, but not when I'm writing, which is the important thing. So uh, if you have that problem of just like, having loops get stuck in your head of like songs or whatever it might be I don't know try putting on one of these uh one of these background things when you're trying to like study or write if you've never tried that before like it's it's honestly shocking how much of a difference um it made because you know I can sit there and try and like meditate the song out of my head and be like stop it's like trying to make the hiccups go away it just won't go away but as soon as I put on one of these playlists in particular that ADHD one that I was talking about before it just it just chases the song right out of my head it's wonderful like yeah so just had to share that with you because try <clears throat> try and give you guys all the all the tips and tricks <laughs> i'm actually choking um <clears throat> <clears throat> lovely getting old is fun anyways i don't think i actually have anything else I, I feel like i didn't go off on as many tangents this time so i'm like why isn't the video longer I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting to the point today. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Thank you guys for, for tuning in and checking in. And I'm sorry I don't have a book to share with you just yet. Um, and and it, it still only exists in digital form. Hey, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I said next time I'll have a book in my hand. You see that? It's got an entire book on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did it, guys. I wrote a book. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I love your faces, and uh, I'll see you here next time.